At first, women were a little shy, a little reluctant to talk. But once they got going, you couldn't stop them. <laughs> women love to talk about their vaginas. They do. They really do. Mainly because no one's ever asked them before. <laughs> Let's just start with the word vagina. Vagina. It sounds like an infection at best. Maybe a medical instrument. Hurry, nurse, bring me the vagina. Vagina. <laughs> vagina. It doesn't matter how many times you say the word, it never sounds like a word you want to say. It's a completely ridiculous, totally unsexy word. If you use it during sex, trying to be politically correct, you kill the act right there. I'm worried what we call it and don't call it. In Great Neck, New York, they call it a pussycat. A woman told me there, her mother used to tell her, don't wear panties, dear, underneath your pajamas. You need to air out your pussycat. <laughs> In Westchester, they call it a pookie. In New Jersey, a twat. There's powder box, a poochie, a poopy, a peepee, a poopaloo, a poonie nana, and a peach. There's Toadie, Dee Dee, Nishi, Dignity, Coochie Snorcher, Cooter, Labby, Gladys Siegelman, Va, Wee Wee, Horse Spot, Nappy Dugout, Mongo, Monkey Box, Pajama, Fanny Boo, Mushmallow, Ghoulie, Possible, Tamale, Totita, Connie, a Mimi in Miami, a split Kanish in Philadelphia, and a Schmendi in the Bronx. I am worried about vaginas.